Hey guys, uh, I'm not a uh, QuickBook expert. I'm just uh, going to show you how I set up my Amazon accounts in uh, US and Canada. Uh, so for the US, uh, I'll go quickly. I set up as a bank and uh, uh, you might wonder why the balance total is zero. So that's because of here uh, how I set it up. So I set up as a bank, then I go to uh, I go I go through the statement, uh, transaction statement, uh, where you can go to sell sell central, go to um, go to report and uh, transaction report. So for example, I set up the date exactly as the uh, the transaction date. So for example, for example, those the charges on the nineteenth, you get the promotion sales, and then. And uh, then after this statement, uh, when the Amazon deposit money, I go to a transfer, and uh, here I transfer to my bank account. This is how Amazon deposit money. So the date is twenty first. That's the date the the charges come in. So uh, I made uh, five thousand dollars on Amazon, and then I transfer to my local bank. So. Every time after I clear it, the balance is zero. So uh, what happens if we have a, a foreign account, for example, Canada account with Amazon, and Amazon deposit uh, US currency? So uh, we do the same thing. We go to orders, and uh, we uh, not orders, sorry. Uh, we go to reports and the payments. And uh, we go to all statement, and uh, then we'll just pick one. Uh, for example, let's work on this one uh, that's ended in April eleventh, two thousand seventeen. So first thing we do is we calculate the currency transfer rate. Exchange rate. So we have uh, U.S. dollar is one two nine four point nine one, and uh, the Canadian dollar is one seven seven zero point four seven. So the exchange rate is point seven one three. In the QuickBook, you have to enable multi currency, which is under. Uh, uh, preferences and uh, multiple currencies, and uh, once you en enable, you cannot unenable it. So, um, so you have to make decision. So it, this is a one-time deal, and then after that, you can set up. A, uh, you can set up. A, uh, a bank, uh, which is a uh, Amazon store, I call it Canada, and uh, you can see you can select the default currency is Canadian dollar. Okay, so the problem with this is somehow the QuickBook will not let you use the register anymore. So what I found a way to do it is just right click on the bank and uh, say make deposits. And the date will I'll set it at the last day of the of the statement, which is April eleventh, two thousand seventeen. So I'll do o four eleven two thousand seventeen, and uh, exchange rate. Remember, every time you, you come here, you have to. Uh, I mean, every one you have to remember the exchange rate point. I'll just copy this. Paste here. Okay, and then I put all the deposits in, which is uh, the first one is a product charge. So receive from. Uh, I already set up a a, a, a customer. Um, this is a product charge, and from account I'll. I set it up to uh, 
Canada income, and uh, the amount is two two six six one point eight eight. Okay, and then we get the second line, which is other. So I got the old all the money comes in as as deposit and. Uh, we did a date right, we did the currency exchange right, and, uh, and we save and close. And now we go back to the store, we do a uh, uh, red checks. And the date is, is already filled at 411 and uh, I do uh, for charge. Uh, I set it up as charge O, and uh, the exchange rate uh, 0 0.7. Yeah, that's right. So I, now I start enter all the charges. So for here, uh, promotion rebate two point. I got uh, all the expenses in and I save and close. After enter it, you can see our balance is 1770.46 uh, Canadian dollars. And uh, if we open it, you can see here are the, the deposits that we have. And uh, here are the other charges we have. And now we want to transfer this money to uh, to the U.S. bank. So we right click and say transfer funds, and then make sure the currency exchange rate is right. And the first thing you do is uh, it automatically selected uh, from account, and you have to set this account to be a Canadian dollar. And then you can pick the second account. Second account will be the U.S. bank, and uh, it's in U.S. dollar. And here you're typing exactly how much U.S. dollar come in. So it's one two nine four point nine one. And they save a close. And now you can see our Canadian store is off by one cent. And uh, and. There, uh, there will be like a one cent or two cents for uh, from transfer. Okay, I hope this, I uh, hope uh, you found this useful, and this is how I do it.